I'm finally going on vacation. I'm headed to the beach, so I want to show you guys what I picked up. So Winston and I have a tropical vacation plan that I'm really excited about. So I had to check out Lulu's to see what they have for me because I can always find something on Lulu's to wear for vacation, for special events, date nights, things like that. So I'm excited that this video is sponsored by Lulu's because you guys have seen many items that I've shared from Lulu's that work for different occasions. So vacation was a must. I had to check it out and see what they had. So let me show you guys what I picked up. Here's the first piece that I want to show you. I love rib knit and I love dresses and this one is really nice. I love the color and I love the cut of this. This is really going to work if you're a curvy girl. It's going to really complement your body. But also if you're a lot less curvy than I am, this is something that's going to be really great as well. It has some really nice movement to it because it has those tassels and you can just throw it on with a pair of flats and you're good to go. I decided to style it up with these sandals from Lulu's as well. I'm really into these. They're so cute. I love anything that's like strappy around my ankle, but these are really great because they have such an interesting heel. That's really nice. A nice alternative to like just like a standard stiletto. I really like this and it's a comfortable heel height and I love the way the shoe looks on the foot. It just looks really, really nice. And it is a textile, so it's an alternative to like a leather. It has a really nice neutral fabric and it's comfortable on the foot and it looks good with so many outfits. So if you just wanted to bring like one pair of heels on vacation, this is gonna be the pair you should bring. Next up, I wanted to show you guys this crochet bodycon dress. I really like this. This is so flattering. Now, it's actually a bathing suit cover-up, but because I'm also on the hunt for some bathing suits, I just threw on this slip underneath to show you guys how it looks. But after I put it on, I'm like, oh, wow, you can actually wear this as a dress as well. So you can wear it with a slip as an actual dress, or you can wear it as an actual dress with your bathing suit under it and still go out for dinner or maybe date night or drinks or something like that. Depends on your vibe. It depends on your personality and what you feel comfortable with. But especially on vacation, it's going to be a great cover up for your bathing suit. But again, you can dress it like this as well. And it looks really cute with those wraparound sandals. I really like this outfit. And next up, I picked up this long sleeve flowy top. It's a silky fabric, really comfortable to wear. And I can wear it on vacation. I'm going to pack it because, you know, like when you go down for like coffee or when you're on the resort and you're like maybe heading to like a random lunch or something, you just want to throw something on that's comfortable but still cute. This is a really cute top for that. I really love that. I threw it on here with a pair of shorts just to give you guys an idea. But I can also wear that now currently in my everyday life. So I really like pieces that I can use for now, for later, and really mix them into my wardrobe. And what I also love about Lulu's is that I can always find a really great statement beach bag. I have found some really cute beach bags over the years with Lulu's and this one is so cute. I love how oversized and dramatic it is. But what's also cool about it is that it doubles as like a knapsack. You can throw it on your back. It has some straps where you can put it on your back and they're adjustable. And then you can also uh, take them like unloosen them like a belt, unfasten them, and then you can just tuck them inside the bag as well. So you can definitely grab this and take this on your next vacation. And of course I had to grab some pieces that I can wear right now. So next up I grabbed this sequin jacket that I could have taken on vacation of course as well, but I can wear that now for date night, evenings out with friends. I really like this. So I decided to just style it up with a bodycon like tank underneath and then I threw on some leather shorts and pair of heels and I'm good to go. This is so cute. And I think it's gonna be really great style with like tank tops and jeans. Just really like chill and casual for daytime something unexpected i love a sequin in the daytime as well that's a lot of fun so i love this and next up i had to grab a knit because i can wear that right now as well i love this knit top that i'm wearing right now it has that wrap detail it's a full wrap and then you can tie it and belt it at the waist which is really cute cinch it in really nicely but it's peplum, which is coming back in a big way. Peplum is definitely back around. And I love that because peplum is super flattering. It really can create curves if you're looking to get that hourglass sort of a silhouette. But it also can complement curves. If you're already a curvy girl, you have an hourglass silhouette or a very curvy body. Maybe you're a hippie. A peplum style top is so flattering. It works for so many different body types. Whether you want to add volume or balance out the volume, a peplum top is really good for you. And if you're busty, this faux wrap style is extremely complimentary. It looks really good and it does a great job of opening up your neckline and taking away some of that emphasis on your chest. Now I want to show you a little bit of skincare. I actually didn't even know that Lulu's had this available on the website, but when I saw it, I was like, let me definitely get these because I really like this brand of eye patches specifically. And I have tried the nighttime ones, but I haven't tried the others. So I love that they have this three pack with three different kinds and they have two of each. So you can definitely try them out if you've never tried them before, but if you've already tried them and you love them, this is a great time to get that whole collection. So definitely check these out if you haven't. 
I'll have links to everything that I shared in this video listed in the description box, along with some other pieces that I really think are cute and you guys might like as well. So make sure you check the description box. And huge thanks to Lulu's for sponsoring this video. So I just got back home. And before I give you guys all the updates, we, well, this is update too. We officially closed on the house yesterday. And then today we got some good information about the robes, some progress updates, which is really cool. Had a call with basically our designer and she just was giving us some updates on some, on some things. I finally picked the fabric and I just have to pick the print now. And that's going to take a little bit of time, hopefully not too much time, but there are so many options for everything that it gets a little overwhelming. So I just got to like, just stay on it and pace myself, I guess. But it's been a very interesting process because you don't now understand why certain things cost what they cost, why you can and can't do certain things, you know. And this is a fairly simple design, so if when I want to do something more complicated or you know that has more parts or that's more intricate, you that's that's going to be a whole new learning kind of a process because even with this simple design, I see how things can be. I don't want to say difficult, but just take a little bit more time. And why things cost what they cost. You know what I mean? Even as far as like extended extended sizes. Even sometimes how they can be more expensive on the end of the consumer. I see why. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we'll talk more about those kind of things. But this is the sample. It, you can't really see what's going on with it right now. But it's all black. And I love the cut of it. I got it like a really nice length. Because I wanted it to be really long. But not too long for my petite gals. It's going to look dramatic. But still really wearable when you're walking around the house you know and then i got these in the mail today so i got like a bunch of these like roll-ups a whole bunch of them sitting here but these are what they are basically these are what the rolls are going to be packed in it's frosted and it has this zip lock going across it so you can reuse these as well these are great throw these in like your beach bag and put your wet bathing suit in them or whatever you want they're really nice to reuse but i just think they look so good i love the quality and of course my label is going across it but yeah, that's the update, you guys. That's what's going on. And I did rearrange the closet a little bit, but nothing really, nothing much. I'll show you guys about, I'll show you guys that when I clean it up. But now I'm just going to get back to work. I have some emails to respond to, and hopefully I can release a video today if it gets approved in time. I got thumbnails to take, but this rain, this rain is killing me. I got pictures and stuff I got to take. But that's it. I'm excited. So I'll let you guys know more about the process and everything, especially like once it's done, I can maybe share like a full complete like how this went kind of a thing. But I'm excited about it. So I'll catch you guys in a minute or in a while. <laughs> good morning, you guys. Well, it's afternoon now, so good afternoon. But I am in my closet room and it's a mess in here. Literally, the day after I posted my life update, we changed everything around. So, anyway, I'll show you guys when I clean it up, but it's a mess right now. But remember the curtains that I had? Let me show you. My hair is half done because I'm going to film today, but the curtains that I had. So, Winston right now is putting them up, like raising them up because they were too low. I didn't like that. And the rest of the curtains in the rest of the apartment are, like, to the ceiling, and that's what I wanted. So, that's what we are going to do right now. And then, Ikea recently, well, apparently they've had them all the time, but I didn't know that. They have the... um. The shears now that are the super long length because our ceilings are 10 feet high so we need some really really high ceilings but the room is a mess so everything is just everywhere i rearranged a lot of stuff i have some bags over here and behind me now but i think i'm gonna put either artwork in there or a bag that i have coming it's kind of big and i think it will be a nice um, piece of artwork for the moment but it might have to live there anyway because I think this might be the only space it could fit in. Or maybe that one up there, but I don't know. But you can't see it anyway. So, this is what we're working on right now. So, with Ikea, you got to put a bunch of these little hooks together. I already did that. And then you got to hook them into this. And it's a little bit annoying. So, it's, it's helpful if you have two people. And if you guys ever put these curtains together, there's a little latch. Once you hook it in, like, let's see, I'll put it right here. So it has all these little hooks in there. I'm using the little the little ones right here. Once you put it in there, it's hard to do on camera to show you guys, but once you put it in that loop, this has a little hook right here. You see that hook? Make sure you hook that. Because if you don't hook that, they're gonna come undone. Like the it's gonna unhook from the from the actual um track. On the ceiling that's happened to us and these ceilings are 10 feet high so it's hard for me to get up there. i can't even reach it even on the ladder so winston has to come do it i gotta wait for him to come do it so anyway make sure y'all lock it 
So now I'm gonna put a million more on these and then we'll have shears. I'll show you guys when it's done. So how many panels did we use? This is, you did two packs of these? Two packs of these. Okay, so four packs for one window. Yeah. But overall, how much do you think we spent on all of I don't know, everybody don't have the same spent? amount of windows. For this window right here, how much was it for this window? Shares 30 a pack. The big ones is 60 a pack. Probably $300. For this window? Mm hmm For this window alone? Yeah. <laughs> but that's still good, though. So if we spent, for this window right here, we got two packs of shears and two packs of the regular curtains. Plus the rods. Plus the, the rods and the clips. So that's $300 for 10-foot ceilings. And we got four to ceiling fabric. So $300 is really good because probably $300 could get you one panel of custom-made curtains. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. these are really good. But, yeah, also, like, most people don't have 10 foot ceiling. That's so exactly. Most people, what, got 8 feet? 8 or 9. 8 or 9 feet ceiling. So, even if you got 8 or 9 foot ceilings, you probably still want the same amount of curtains to fill it. Yeah, but the curtains cost less when you got... Oh, the shorter the shorter length. Right. Okay, because we got the longest length, that's why. And it, they charge you a little bit more for the longer length. But still, $300 for two two what is that six panels what yeah. i think i'll look up the real price i'll put it on the video okay yeah and i'm gonna have everything linked down in the description box but this is a real good option and you know what i mean like obviously these are not expensive but once you have everything else decorated around it it elevates the whole thing you know kind of like a high low thing really nice actually before i go i want to show you guys the pieces that we got so far in the living room all right so far we got this rug this is from home goods actually it was like 350 or 370 something like that but they had a they had it mismarked so i was able to get it for like 250 which is pretty good i really like that and as soon as i saw it i was like this is perfect this coffee table we got from the west elm outlet we we're playing around with some of the pieces so that's not done and then this is the chair we already had from west elm and we want to find another one but they don't have any right now so we're gonna check back if not we're just gonna get some other chairs a couple other matching chairs but yeah and this is how the panels look that we have now. And then we have to fill it in with the shears. And so we need a lot of them. But this is what it looks like so far. And we're waiting for the couch to come. We got like a couple more weeks left and the couch will be here. I'm excited. Hey, you guys. So today's actually a new day, even though I look the same. But I just got a shower. I'm about to get dressed and um, clean up a little bit and head out. I got to show you guys the current update. It came out okay, but we got to play around with it a little bit. Anyway, I just got a package in, which I was looking forward to. But it looks kind of small. This is the box. So I expected it to be bigger, but let's just see. It's a new bag that I ordered. And the problem with this bag is that there was a lot of like conflicting information on the internet. And I was like trying to figure out the sizing and the measurements and everything like that. So let me see. Oh, this might be it. It looks like it's it. They just had it folded. Okay, so it is actually the size that I thought, I think. <laughs> Yeah, they folded it, which I didn't like that. Anyway, so. The brand is Coperni. And the stack. Oh, they folded it. So it's folded, which is why it's doing that right now. So I gotta, like, lay it flat and maybe put something on top of it. That is so annoying. Anyway, it's leather, so I, it'll definitely like get its shape back. But I'm gonna see. I'm gonna I'll lay it flat for a couple of days and see if it gets its shape back. But this is what it looks like. Isn't it cute? It's a heart. It's a black heart. <laughs> Let me show you guys. So when it has its proper shape, you'll be able to see the heart. I'm gonna show you guys like a real trying one. I just was excited to take it out of the box. This is what it looks like. I got it from Essence, by the way. And then it really is just one, it's just panels, two leather panels, and then it has a pocket. It's really not that large, but it can fit everything I need, because most of the time I carry small bags anyway, like small crossbodies or small top handle bags, so I think this is so cute, though. Now, I gotta lay it flat and see how it, how it turns out. So I need to see the mini one, because this is actually not big at all, and compare, but I was comparing measurements, 
And some sites don't even have measurements, which is annoying. And then it's sold out on the Caprini website, because of course I looked there to compare measurements. But anyway, this is the bag, so I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. But let me get dressed so, I don't, so I'm not late, and then I'll check them with y'all and show you, like, how it looks, try it on and everything. I might just go ahead and do a dedicated video styling it anyway, so. But I really like it. So, living room still in transition, still don't have a couch, but we got a TV today. We got the 77 inch LG OLED C2. Anyway, it's real big, but this wall is real big. So you guys, the living room is in disarray because we're getting ready, we're getting ready for the couch. But we found this at the West Elm outlet. I'll show you guys, uh, I'll put a picture of how it looks and then I'll show you guys how it looks when it's up. But I'm really excited about it. It's all, um, it's like, it looks like the different light fixtures are floating, like different bubbles, which is really cute. So I'm excited to see how it looks when it goes up. This is where it's gonna go. This is going to be, <laughs> look, we got a wrap right there. But once we put everything back where it needs to go, it's gonna go up here. This is just next to the kitchen. It's kind of blurry, hopefully. Yeah, so there you go, it's gonna go right there. 